After using the drone several times, I found it's pretty quick to set it up. Once you get the GoPro ready, I boot up the drone, the tracker, check to make sure my GoPro is turned on and it's recording video and not still frames or burst. I can confirm that on the front and the back of the camera. In the snow, I don't want to get any wet drops on the GoPro lens, so I'll clear a spot that's fairly flat. Even though it faces up in the takeoff mode, it doesn't always face up until everything is activated. Clear off any of the water droplets. See if it needs a GPS fix. And set the countdown for takeoff. It's a 10 second countdown and you have to continue to hold the button until it reaches the cruise altitude and then you can lower it if you wish. It always starts in the compass mode. In this case today we're going to do a circle mode with several snowmobiles driving in formation at speeds between 30 and 40 miles an hour. I position the drone where I want it. I pick my height and my angle and uh, conscious of where the sun is. We'll be pretty much running in a straight shot for about eight miles. The drone will actually travel farther than that because it'll be traveling in circles around us as we move. So off we go. It'll take a little time for everyone to get caught up. The drone will be circling me in the orange pants in a clockwise as you look down mode and I have it set for a s fairly slow circle. I'm traveling somewhere around 30 miles an hour here. We were curious how the drone would do by going backwards and forwards and catching up with us. Once all the machines eventually get together, we achieve a speed of a constant 40 miles an hour. That's about 10 miles an hour below the advertised speed of the stacker drone. Later in our experiment, we'll see how fast it really can go. At this speed, the drone seems to be doing quite well in passing us as it's doing its clockwise rotation. I'll speed this up a bit just to show the complete circle. Keep an eye on the snowmobile on the right, that's me. I'm going to raise my left hand to show how fast I'm going by using fingers. One, two, three, four for 40 miles an hour. Now, I am traveling 40 miles an hour. And I'm going to raise my left arm, there I go. And the drone did not like that. If you see it in the upper right hand side of the screen here, you'll see that it's waving all over the place. It didn't like the altitude change at the speed 
when I raise my hand. We haven't seen this happen at slow speeds, but only at high speeds. However, the video itself with the stabilizer came out okay. There's a little bit of movement to it. I found that the easiest way to fix this is to pause the drone or slow down and let it catch up and do it again and then it stops. It's only happened to us a couple times and it's something that I can easily edit around or now that I'm aware of it, I'll try not to let that happen. Now we need to reposition the drone for the next test. We're going to be going down the lake about five miles and carefully finding out what the drone can do for speed. I put it into compass mode directly ahead of me and lowered it so I have a pretty good angle on the sleds. Check out the next video on stacker speeds for some interesting surprises.